Hello dear students, welcome to the class. In this session, I am going to explain the poem Heaven If You Are Not Here On Earth written by K.V. Kuttapa. And before going to the poem, we know about the poet K.V. Kuttapa, born on 1904, he is widely known by the pen name Kuvempu. He is acknowledged as the best a poet of the 20th century and he is the first among eight recipient of a Gnanapita Award for Kannada. And he is immortalized his a contribution and he is a second after M. the Pai among Kannada poets to be rewarded as a Rashtra Kavi, a national poet. And his, his work, Sri Ramana Darshana, the re rewriting of great ancient Indian epic Ramayana in modern Kannada is regarded as a, a revival of era Mahakavya, it means the epic poetry and in con contemporary form and charm and he is also right to rewrite the uh, ancient Ramayana in his uh, own uh, writing style and it also gives a contemporary form and charms. He is uh, immortalized by some of his praise that is a particular for his contributions to universal humanism in this word Vishwa Manavata Avada and he was a conferred of Padma Vibhushana by government of India. He has penned the Karnataka state anthem Jaya Bharata Jananiya Tanujade. And not only for his a contribution and he is also write some of a novel. It's a Beradige Koran and uh, Kanunu Hegadati. Sorry, Kanunu Hegadati is his a novel and uh, anthem, anthologies a uh, Beradige Koran Prema Kashmira and Pakshi Kashi. So these are all as uh, anthologies. And this is a short information about uh, the poet. Then coming to uh, its a poem, Heaven If You Are Not Here On Earth. And this poem, the poet highlights the nature and describes how human beings uh, with their uh, behavior might try to reach a divinity. The poet in an extraordinary way tries to proclaim that heaven is uh, supposed to be here on earth and uh, not somewhere far away. And you observe the title, heaven if you are not here on earth, this is an opening line uh, said by the Kuenko. And this poem begins with a couplet, heaven if you are not here on earth, where else could you be? It means that the, refer, the reader it's need not a look for it's a heaven in the sky and the heaven its own must find it one earth only and no, nowhere else. And that is a, it's a, the opening of lines of meaning. Then come to the poet wish to argue the concept like heaven, God and names etc. And tangible entities are but are only figment of a man's imagination. And the next stanza, it's a poet refers to our belief about God and heavenly names. The poet it's a, wants to us a, give up our belief that we go to heaven after a death where we find a God and names. And according to poet, if we ourselves cannot be gods then there can be no gods. And if we ourselves are not heavenly names, the names are not elsewhere. So these are stanza and explain ourselves can be the God and ourselves can be the names. When? When we cultivated a good habits, when we had to help a needy persons and we are the gods according to poet. Then he also uh, uh, the another concept heavenly names and names and the Names are entertained to the God and the same way and we are also to find uh, names in around uh, us but and the names are entertained to the gods alike. We are also to entertain to the people or we are also to help as some another manner and that is uh, that is why we are the gods and names and there can be no God and no names and these are all the just imaginations of a human being. And that's why we are the gods, we are the uh, names when we cultivated good habits or as some uh, help a needy persons. And that's why if we ourselves can be gods, then there can be no gods in the earth or heaven. 
and we ourselves are not heavenly names the names are not elsewhere according to the poet then come to uh, the second stanza in the next stanza and the poet tries to introduce us to its different form of heaven uh, heaven and that as exist on the earth only and while this are uh, uh, roaring a stream rushing fast rolling surf at edge of the waves the tender sunshine lean on verdant garden and then the gentle sun make this earth heaven so this is stanza it's a totally it's a, his a presents a mesmerizing picture of our nature and when the streams with its a sparkling water rushing fast as the waves after waves rolling back on the shores create the beauty and the tender sunshine tender sunshine it's a lean on the green a lush green forest add a splendor to the beauty while the gentle sunshine make the earth heaven and this a uh, uh, stanza it's a uh, totally it's mesmerizing the picture of a uh, uh, nature and he also is highlighting the nature while this a uh, roaring stream rushing past and rush it also is a very it's moving a fast and rolling a surf a surf means it's a uh, uh, the surf uh, it's a uh, rolling a surf at edge of the waves at the waves also it's a surf we create the they create the surf at the edge of the waves and then at the sunshine lean on that and it's a uh, look like a golden color color and it's a tender sunshine lean on verdant garden and we are also observe at the morning sunshine and lean on verdant garden and it's a uh, look like a very beautiful and uh, this create the heaven on earth only and gentle sun make this earth the heaven that is the uh, meaning of uh, this stanza and he also explain the next stanza the poet uh, uh, the poet it uh, refers to that the beauty of a uh, harvest season and moonlight a uh, night and it's not only at uh, a concentrate on a daytime experience and he also uh, con uh, concentrate on the night time experience like a uh, harvest season especially harvest season harvest means of uh, uh, it's uh, the gathering the crop on that uh, period and the moonlight effect especially at some moonlight and in the harvest time and heaven lies all over on the earth and the portrayals of a sun so soaked nature and Uh, sun sunrise is always mesmerizing the heaven is a that so we are so where a moonlight enveloped that the world and it's a uh, majesty and this experience and also and uh, ne never and uh, never see anyway and uh, just uh, but the earth which is a best experience and uh, ex expressed by the, the poet alone only and we find that in the splendors of a harvest season at a harvest and moonlight heaven lies all over imbibing and also spilling the song of a nectar the poet does create the heaven on earth and who only the only the quempo at create the heaven on earth with the experience of at a moonlight effect and a daylight effect at the both at create a different uh, the form of a heavens uh, here on earth only and according to the poet, according to poet the heaven god and names these are all uh, just imaginations of a uh, human beings then finally he also uh, uh, conclude that the poet or a theme of the poet the poet argues that we do not uh, need to seek heaven after the death but can track can it's uh, uh, enjoy the, the heaven of heaven bliss and even as when we are alive that is the theme of a poem it's a heaven it only here on earth and nowhere it can be it's a here and that is the uh, theme of poem and in this poem and in your examinations uh, ask a uh, one mark questions and a uh, four mark questions and six mark questions and uh, one mark questions are uh, like and just uh, directly said that uh, who create the heaven on earth it's uh, absolutely the two and power a poet to create the heaven on earth and what could not be uh, nowhere else but uh, on earth according to the speaker in heaven if you are not here on earth that's what could be it's heaven it's not be nowhere else and you already and know that when you had to read the poem carefully and you easily get the answer and read overall the questions and pause the video and comment in the comment box if you don't find the answers at any one
then it's a four mark questions sir. and four mark questions it's a very easy question so it's arise in this concept because heaven is not uh, sorry the how does the poem heaven if you are not here on earth it's a uh, visualize the heaven that's what we visualize and here also it's highlighting a nature concept and mesmerizing the nature's nature beauty with the daylight that's a sunshine light and the moonlight effect also and you are also to explain these are all the poems of experience of god and name and its uh, uh, names and heaven these are all the concept that you should as to explain and these questions okay and pause the video and read all the questions and write overall a summary as much as possible okay uh, if you like the video hit the like button and share as much as possible thank you